Welcome to the African Center for Community and Development. And I am Marie Ivo. And today we shall be discussing the issue of entrepreneurs and investors. There are about 382 million entrepreneurs globally, according to a recent survey. And there are about 38 million active investors globally as well. Only 0.03% of $1,000 is spent, for instance, towards investment in Africa, which means many businesses and business ideas are not funded or funding is not effective globally. We also know that entrepreneurs start up businesses that end a couple of years after. And for this number, I just intimated 382 million entrepreneurs presently in the globe. Only 30% of them will be in business that they started in 10 years' time. What we've noticed, based on research at the African Center for Community and Development, is that there is actually low access to financing globally and in Africa in particular. Even though a recent survey of individual investors exposed that over 54% of venture capitalists or all investors are willing to take risk, we realize that risk taking is not effective amongst many cycles of investors. Even in thematic areas that have been researched or in businesses that have proven track records of working. We've also realized that commercial banks do not have necessary instruments and cash flows into Africa and financing through um, modern currency or bitcoins is stunting because of doubts and little understanding of technologies in many developing parts of the globe. Worth noting that Africa has got 15% of the world's population and has only 6.2% of subscribers globally. It also has only 1% of broadband users globally. This actually means that there's need for partnerships and partnerships across levels between investors and entrepreneurs to make businesses work across the globe and in Africa in, particularly, in particular. This means that these partnerships must look at organizational cultures, it, it must look broadly at networking, it must look at building the infrastructure of entrepreneurs because many of them are operating in societies of scarcity. It must build infrastructure in terms of banking in order to create liaisons that can make working relationships effective even remotely. And it must also lead to the establishment of offices on the ground. We at the African Center for Community and Development invite you to work with us to understand mechanisms and best areas to invest in Africa and Cameroon. Work with us and we shall give you technical and knower of all the best ways of investing and of reducing risks, of mitigating risks. This has been Ari Ivo from the African Center for Community and Development. Thanks for watching. Cheers.